Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. This is going to be a Q&A style video, so some of you guys have been sending in some questions. If you want to be featured in any upcoming Q&A video, send in an interesting question that you think would be a good theory that I could talk about in one of these upcoming videos. You can do that by going over to the community tab. I've just posted a new post where you can comment underneath with your topic, question or theory. So for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I'm very excited. Obviously, Supergo is on tonight. We're going to have my review hopefully out straight away afterwards. Obviously, The Flash is filming right now. There is some new set photos that have been coming out. If you guys want coverage in regards to that, watch my latest videos. You can go check them out. And obviously, I'll continue to make videos about it as we lead towards November when The Flash returns with Season 8. Obviously, that is the crossover event. So, lots of stuff that's happening. I'm going to catch up on Stargirl as well, and I'll start making Stargirl videos again. So, for now, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So, the first question comes from Joseph Smith, who is actually a member of the channel. Thank you for being a member, Joseph. And if you guys want to become a member of the channel and get exclusive perks, including a monthly member Zoom call with me, which we're going to be doing sometime in the next week or so, please be sure to click the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button below, and you can become a member by supporting the channel. So anyway, Joseph's question is this. Do you think The Flash is going to do a team up with Superman? So this is a question that we've been asked many times. I mean, it's pretty obvious, like, everyone wants The Flash to cross over with Superman because they are two of the most iconic DC superheroes out there, and The Flash is obviously the biggest hero in the Arrowverse, and Superman is the newest person to run and lead his own show. And Superman Lois Season 1 didn't have any crossovers apart from the Diggle appearance towards the end of the season, so people have been saying, is it actually in the Arrowverse, or is it just separate? Well, it is in the Arrowverse, we know that with Diggle showing up, and Season 2 apparently is going to be more connected, and even though no people from Superman Lois are showing up in the Flash 5-part episode crossover, there is definitely going to be a time sometime in the next future. I'm not sure if it's going to be this season or not, but you will see The Flash and Superman on screen together with Grant and Tyler. There's no way that they don't capitalize on that, especially after the pandemic has sort of died down even more whenever that day does come, and hopefully next year they do a big, big crossover like they would normally do. So I would expect the next time they're going to team up together probably the next big crossover after this year so be on the lookout for that but that's my answer to that Joseph so hopefully I answered that well okay so Chris on YouTube asks why has Red Death never showed up in the flash because it was being teased so this has also been a thing that people have been asking for literal years like he was first mentioned in season 5 he was only mentioned one time that was in the episode in the future where we were in the Flash Museum and then there was mention of Red Death being a villain of the Flashes in the future. And so people sort of took that to believe, oh, you know, Red Death is definitely coming at some point and he's going to be a main villain. However, it was a simple reference and I don't believe they had plans. They might still have plans, but we won't be told about it until we actually see it because they like to keep things under wraps. And there is always a chance that, you know, the next villain could be Red Death. But as of right now, there is no signs that it is going to be him. But that's kind of the reason, like, he was a reference. And I'm not sure if they even plan to include him later. But sort of fans took it to believe, like, oh yeah, they're confirming Red Death is coming. But it seems not very likely as of right now. Okay, let's move on from the next question. This is coming from Fiction Master 101 on YouTube who asks, could Supergirl ever team up with Stargirl? Now, this is a good question because people have been asking, oh, is Supergirl ever going to show up after the show ends? Now, there's always a chance that Melissa will show up and come back like Cress Williams is doing and like a lot of these other actors are doing for The Flash's crossover. They are returning to Vancouver to shoot this as their original characters. So there's always a chance that Melissa does do that sometime. Maybe in a big crossover would be most likely. 
obviously it's just a matter of is she free does she want to do it are they gonna pay well for like you know shooting for two to three weeks or something there is all those questions going into it but yeah there is still a chance that supergirl could team up with stargirl in the near future or probably a bit further into the future but as of right now i'm not gonna say it's that likely i think it's a pretty much 15 percent chance it could ever happen Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Kobe on YouTube who asks, Do you think the Arrowverse and the DCEU will cross over again? I think 100% it's going to happen again. Seems like in the Flash film is going to be the next time that actually happens. I believe Grant Gustin is probably going to make a cameo in the Flash film. We know that they are dealing with Flashpoint, different timelines, and it's been established already in Crisis that the reason why... Ezra's version of the Flash calls himself the Flash is because of Barry and so that was set up and apparently well I remember it was referenced by like some of the top guys at Warner Brothers and DC that these worlds are canon now and that you know the DCEU does exist in the Arrowverse somewhere out there and there is a chance that like Grant Gustin shows up in the Flash film so I definitely think that they will cross over again that would be my best bet as of right now, but in regards to like the DCEU coming to the Arrowverse, not sure when that would happen. I think that's a bit less likely. I just think that the Flash film is prime for a cameo because it is dealing with alternate timelines and you know what's better than that with the Flash, right? Like that is the perfect opportunity. But yeah, that's my answer for that. Okay, so the next question comes from Jaden on YouTube who asks, Will the Flash get gold boots for the next season? So this is a question that we answer every year because there is always the question of is The Flash going to get a new costume when it comes to a new season because that was a trend in the past where there will be a new season that means a new upgrade even if it's not like a whole new suit like this year we got the sort of tech version of his cow actually going over like he sort of did this thing he tapped his like earpiece and then his mask came over. And so that was a cool new addition, that was the addition last year, and in the past we've had full on costume changes. So I guess there is a statistical chance that we could get a new costume in this season because it's happened so many times. But in regards to the gold boots, that would just be an upgrade like we got last season with the cow like I mentioned. I think that would be more likely, Eric Wallace has teased this for a while, and fans definitely want it, however it seems like they are holding back on it, but just the fact that Eric Wallace has talked about it many times, seems like it's in his back of his mind, so there is like a 50% chance I would say that it shows up this season on the Flash's suit, but there is also a 50% chance that maybe it doesn't show up at all because maybe he just thinks it looks a bit silly they probably done some tests behind the scenes by you know doing concept art and looking how it would look and maybe they even did it in real life but let's move on to the next question this comes from marcus barris on youtube who asks will melissa appear as supergirl in future episodes as a guest star on the other shows just asking so this kind of ties into the stargirl question but yeah there is a chance just like with what Stephen and mel was saying the other day I actually did a video on that, that was one of my latest videos, so go check that out on the channel right now. Basically Steven, you know, he left Arrow and Arrow ended, and he was just quoted the other day on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast as saying he would be willing to come back to the show if they did it as like a mini-series. So I guess there's a chance, like what happens if Arrow actually does that, that would be amazing. Not saying that it's likely, because it's probably not going to happen. But if Supergirl was offered that, like if Supergirl was going to come back as like a six episode miniseries on HBO Max, I think Melissa would be down. I think the biggest problem is, you know, moving and staying in Vancouver for years upon years. Like she's literally lived in Vancouver since season two because season one filmed in LA. So obviously that's much better for her because that's where she currently lives and... I think that's her favorite place probably but if the opportunity arose to have like a supergirl kind of spin-off that would just be on hbo max i think she could return i think it's a bit less likely for just random guest spot appearances on different shows if there is any chance like i mentioned before probably in a crossover okay so let's move on to the final question of the video and this comes from fiction master 101 again and they say, can the Flash and Supergirl make one last team up? 
Obviously right now we have The Flash, which is filming its five part crossover event. They announced the characters who are showing up. We know that Alex Danvers is showing up as Sentinel on the show. Super excited for Kyla to come back after Supergirl's finished. So we do have some sort of Supergirl representation in the crossover on The Flash post when Supergirl is actually ending, so that is very exciting. But in regards to the Flash and Supergirl making one last team up, I don't think it's that likely, especially because Melissa isn't around. And if she filmed a cameo, it would have been very, very quick just before she left. So there is like maybe like a 10% chance she did that. But apart from that, she's not going to go back to Vancouver. You have to take loads of tests, you have to quarantine and stuff like that still. So it's a kind of tricky situation so I'm gonna say it's unlikely that in this season Supergirl is gonna show up on the flash and vice versa there is a chance as I just mentioned like a couple of times that maybe in the future they will return post their show's ending and it could be maybe in a crossover but but anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and click the join button to become a member of the channel if you want to join in in our monthly member Zoom call. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see